Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Titan Tips. In this one, I would just want to talk about the proper way, or in my opinion, when it is going to be most effective for you to be using different items. There's obviously a lot of different items in the game that you're going to be getting from, from quests, from opening chests, from grab bags, from whatever it is that you're doing, and uh, those are going to be stacking in your inventory. Obviously, this game has a lot of events that are going on, and I think that there's a proper way to use each of these items. So right now, there's a four-week rotation for events. Three of those weeks are filled up with King's Caprice, with uh, Tower of Titans, and Lost City of Gold. The fourth week is normally a 48-hour two-day event that's voted on by the community of what they want for those two days. But there has been talk about filling that fourth week with an additional event. So let's go through each of these. XP drinks, those are mainly going to be used on re-rolling skills for heroes. If you restart a hero and you use one super XP drink, that's going to get them, I think, to level six. You're going to be able to see the first skill. If it's not a good skill, you can re-roll that hero, pay another five mil or whatever uh, the tier of hero is, and then use another XP drink to see another skill. You can do the same with these smaller XP drinks, just takes a few more, but these are gonna be the easiest way for you to reroll skills over and over and over without having to do quests. So these are basically just time savers. In the end, uh, you can of course save like the really big XP drinks and get someone into the level 20s immediately if it's one of your final heroes, but using those to reroll skills is generally gonna be the most effective. Stamina drinks, I would say save these for Polonia. Whatever you do, often when you have a Polonia team uh, and it's designated like this is just for Polonia, uh, she's going to be the one who dies most often. Even if you have a lot of threat on the heroes that you're sending with her, she's going to be the most squishy. And so if you use stamina drinks only on her, you can keep your stamina drinks for that and basically inevitably keep her alive to send with uh, your team every time that she dies and not have to worry about that at all. In my opinion, that's going to be the most effective. It's going to save you a lot of time and make you a ridiculous amount of money. In terms of seeds, generally I would use these on your champions. Heroes are dispensable. Heroes are re-rollable. Eventually you may want to re-roll a hero, get rid of it, uh, whatever that may be, but your champions are forever. So using these seeds on champions first is going to be your best bet. You can put 20 seeds on each one, so that's going to be your first lot. And then after that, maybe putting on your vitality and resistance with Polonia team, something like that, just to make it a higher percentage for you to be able to uh, take advantage of those quests. In terms of skill dice, Generally, you're going to be, want to be using these on your third and fourth skills. First and second skill are generally really easy to reroll because that's at level 5 and level 10. But these ones you're going to be using on heroes that have already got into like the level 30s that you're going to want to reroll those skills on. So I would definitely save these as much as possible for rerolling those couple skills at the very end to really get your heroes where you want them to be. Okay. So Phoenix Feather, you're generally going to want to be saving these for Lost City of Gold. Lost City of Gold is going to be that event that you're going to want to be sending as many teams as possible every hour to this event to get as many bars as possible to be unlocking those bosses and to you know help your guild out and unlock everything that you can. As well, generally, golden chests are really expensive in market, like 10 gems or higher. And so being able to send as many heroes out to these quests as possible is going to be a huge advantage for you and be able to make you a lot of gold or gems as well. So try to keep those for Lost City. Power boosters you're going to want to save for Tower of Titans. The last few levels of Tower of Titans generally you're going to need power boosters for and so saving these for the end of Tower is going to be a huge benefit for you. XP boosters is kind of up to your discretion. Uh, if you've got some heroes maybe that are close to leveling or you've got th a batch of three or four new heroes that you want to get up, of course use these. Uh, but generally when you get into mid and late game you're going to be stacking these pretty good because once your heroes get into the level 30s you know, they're not going to need these as much. And so just kind of use them uh, whenever you want to, to power level those low level heroes up. Compasses, generally you're going to want to use with Tower of Titans as well. There's 30 floors, each takes an hour or 45 minutes with a guild boost, and that has to be done within 48 hours. So obviously there's not a whole lot of time. You have to play basically many hours in the day or be checking consistently. And so these compasses is going to cut down your, your quest time a ton and help you a lot. So try to save those for Tower. Loot Bugles, I would definitely be saving for Lost City of Gold as well. Basically, you're going to want these mega loot bugles for the last few bosses. Bosses are going to give you a lot more gold than anything else. And so saving these bugles for the end 
of Lost City is going to be a huge benefit. Obviously, if you have a ton of bugles left over, feel free to use that on, you know, bosses or, you know, whatever normal quest that you're doing, hard quest to get yourself extra components if they're really expensive in market or whatever. But make sure that you have a few of these handy for Lost City because that's going to uh, really explode the amount of gold that you're going to be able to get. Repair kits, I would definitely save until later game. Um, I mean, if you don't have a Royal Merchant, repair kits are your lifeblood basically uh but generally for late game i try not to use a repair kit unless it's two million gold or more obviously when you get better gear um repair kits become more and more valuable and so keeping these for two million that's like a hundred million worth of repair kits research scrolls um Generally, if you're mastering items and taking your time gradually getting through the game, doing things properly, mastering everything as you go, you shouldn't run out of research scrolls until you hit tier 8. And then after that, as you're completing more quests, you're opening all of your chests, that sort of thing. I haven't really run out until, and I'm now unlocking like tier 9, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Uh, generally, as you progress in the game, finish events, that sort of thing, research scrolls should be something that's somewhat easy to come by. Shards, on the other hand, is the most important important item in the game and something that I would say uh, should take the most consideration of what you're going to do with. There's those three beginner fodder items that, that I would ascend right away. It's really important, but after that, I would definitely save them and either try to get as many lines to 15 stars as possible for that energy discount. If you're not a huge selling player, I guess, selling in your shop a ton and just trying to surcharge everything, if you have a lot of bins out and just not a ton of energy, maybe getting 15 stars on everything is not the most important, but maybe it's ascending really end game items that you're going to be crafting over and over and over to just get that profit, get that multi craft, get that rarity chance, you know, whatever that thing is for you. Um, but yeah, definitely take a lot of consideration with Ascension Shards. Antique Tokens, um, obviously now the update is out, and so Antique Tokens are either finding best in slot items that you're going to want to put in your crafting rotation for endgame or finding items that you think look incredibly cool uh, unlocking those mastering them donating one of each rarity and then having that as your gear that you're now getting your heroes to wear to look really cool so you kind of play that one by ear limited edition i would definitely save for king sales uh, as I talked about previously, King Sales is going to be a huge thing for you. But if you have King Sales that are 30 mil, 60 mil, whatever that is, and you can then, you know, tack on an additional 30 mil or an additional 60 mil, that's going to be absolutely massive for you. So definitely try to save your limited editions for that. So that's all the items. I know that was a huge one. This is a, little, a lot longer than what I normally do, but uh, I hope all of that helps. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.